lamb ribs. I can remember like chicken ribs, they used to give them to you, you know, the, the butcher would say to you, please take these. Now, they're about the, the price of a lamb chop. Anyway, <laughs> they're bloody delicious though, they really are. I've got about a kilo of lamb ribs here. That's enough for at least four people because I always put some of these in the freezer because I love the blessed things. And I've just put them in some olive oil and sealed them just to keep in all the juices. I mean, I can understand lamb ribs because they have quite a bit of meat on them, but chicken ribs, I, I think to myself, it's seems ridiculous that you, you have to pay for those. But they are popular. They're, they're dearer than chicken wings. Why am I digressing? Just because I can. Right, so I've still got some juices in there. What I'm going to throw in is two shallots, which I've sliced finely. You could use an onion if you, if you couldn't find some shallots, but shallots are sweeter. They have a nice flavour. And what I've also got is about a centimetre piece of ginger, which I've sliced into julienne slices, and four or five cloves of garlic, which I've also sliced. Two cinnamon sticks, couple of star anise, and be a bit careful with your chilli flakes, because I made this for my wife and I recently, and the chilli flakes I'd had for a while, and, oh, can I tell you, almost blew our heads off. Because they've been sitting in the, in the cupboard, and they, they're obviously intensified in flavour. And I don't use chilli flakes a lot. You know, you may have noticed I'm pretty keen on sambal, which I like very much. But these chilli flakes worked, but my goodness, they were strong. As I said, they've been sitting there a while. To that we also add two tablespoons of brown sugar. And now you start thinking about getting some liquid in so that these aromatics don't burn. First of all, a can of diced tomatoes. One cup of Chinese wine. Two tablespoons of light soy. Two tablespoons of dark soy. If you don't have any dark soy, I always have dark soy. I, I like the blessed stuff. But if you don't have it, you can use just a, the good Japanese kickerman. Couple of tablespoons of Chinese black vinegar. Just adds that little bit of piquancy. One tablespoon of oyster sauce and also one tablespoon of hoisin. And we'll just bring that to the boil and then we'll worry about it. Back in with the lamb roots. At least a litre of chicken stock. Just pack it's fine. But don't throw it all in at once because you do want it to reduce a bit and you will just keep on adding as it, as it cooks down but we do want it to almost cover, almost. So we'll bring that to the boil, turn it down to a simmer. It takes, oh, about an hour to cook it. So, all right, my lamb ribs are ready and looking good. Now you want them to be sort of falling off the, the bone. So that's where they need to be cooked. And it did take about an hour. And it, it really is a rather concentrated sauce. If you want light, fresh sauces, <laughs> this ain't for you. Now I'll just grab a spoon, so a decent amount of that sauce on. This needs a bit of colour to it, of course. You can put some chilli on it if you like, but I'm just going to put some spring onion. After my efforts with the, the chilli flakes the other day, <laughs> I, I will stick to something green. Now, I was going to serve singer beer with it, which of course is, is a Thai beer. You can serve, obviously, a, an Indian beer if you like, but Obviously, because of the COVID, they're a bit short. And anyway, the last time I was in Thailand, because this is sort of a Thai dish, last time I was in Thailand, I actually drank a lot of Heineken. They used to call me Heine Huey. You'd never believe it, but they did. Because I used to be a bit of a beer drinker. So I thought Heineken would do. And when you serve Heineken, as they do in Holland, you always serve a decent head like that. I was amazed when I went to Holland and they served this big head on their beer. But anyway, that's what you do. The lamb ribs were sort of Thai flavours. Would I say they're Thai flavours? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm going to enjoy this. Guys, to show your support for my channel and to keep in the loop, subscribe. It's easy to do and don't forget, it's free. Okay, cheers.